Who do you have it for? Just quick one. I gotta say Blacklist. I'm liking this lineup. They, they, it looks like they were cornered, but this lineup plays very, very specifically. All right, but ladies and gentlemen, game four right now. Let's dive into the land of dawn. BTK going up against Blacklist. Will they close out the series or will BTK force the fifth game in the series and force the boom bang bada beam to happen? Your quick fire, just go. Predictions. My quick fire right now, because I don't want to be the same with Leo. I'm going to go with BTK. Both of these teams have very good win conditions. Let's go. Mobazine on the Saber. Make sure to get the early first blood. Not gonna lie, I'm gonna have to tie. I'm gonna have to break the tie right now by saying BTK, but Y is already going in. It's gonna be Moba Zane picking it up though. Beautiful retribution to steal it away from Blacklist, but that gives Wise an additional stack in his passive. Here's the reason why I say Blacklist, all right? Early on, now we're seeing the uh, interaction between these two lineups. BTK has a solid amount of scaling to do. They want that Esmeralda to get her items. They want that Lunox in mid as well to do the same. And Mobile is going to try to look for these pickoffs. Blacks International, it's very clear to them. We just won't. We'll just wait until Aldous, until Wise is ready to go ahead and sign these contracts and, you know, send people off to the afterlife. That's exactly what Blast is going to do. And it's up to BTK to speed that up. It's on them. Yeah. Signing contracts is very, very scary. And right now, Wise will put the fear of business on the side of BTK. But right now, Mubazain, he is level 4 and he is at that Brody lane. Haji should be fine. Yeah, but right. right now, oh my, Venus has to take care of himself as well. Yeah, absolutely. Venus is going to be the target right here for Mobazane. Look at Venus. He's going to go in. Mobazane still waiting in that bush, looking for a pickoff onto him. Haji opening up the map. Mobazane goes in with the help of Shark. The stun won't connect because of the anti-CC. Wise has made his way into the mid lane as well. Going in for some sacks. Will be able to get two minions right there. Let's see. Oh, Zia goes in and that's going to be the Chaos Assault only. Mobazane still holding on to that triple sweep for now. Yeah, right now for the side of Blacklist International, it's actually a good thing if they don't play the game for a while. You know, like, let them take the turtle and everything like that. Just avoid mobile scenes first. Oh, let's see. Haji's gonna get taken very, very low. Victor jumps into the backside. Wise is gonna be able to go onto the turtle as well. It's gonna be the retribution taken away by Wise, but look at the damage coming in. It's gonna be all the way. Victor in a 1v4. Turn up our memory, gonna be able to get some damage on the go, but it's gonna be Wise taking down. Shark is able to get away, but now it's gonna be the auto attack coming from Ohem. But look at the turns. Mobile Zane's still alive. He gets out, but not for long. Edward goes in for the kill. It's gonna be him taken down as well, and that's gonna be a three. Three, four, three. No, three for two, actually, in the hands of BTK. These two teams are giving the crowd what they want. A yep. lot of action, huge trades. But here's what I'm thinking. Maybe it's oh, not going to be for the better, given the scaling that Blacklist International is looking for. But to be fair, credit where credit is due, why still talk that turtle like a champ? Yeah, that was a beautiful turtle steal right there. But chicken, chicken, chicken. Oh, oh. oh my god, that is... Uh, Insane. Yeah, that right. was uh, that's Mobazane. Don't hey, do that. hey, that's, don't, uh, don't that's yeah, that. not bad. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. I'm here till tomorrow. Yes, well, <laughs> we're here this. till tomorrow. Yes. Yeah, right now, looking at this game, honestly, in that kind of team fight, I kind of shut my brain off and then just enjoy the scene. But going back into the game, Blackness International, Zia is gonna get caught, but the brilliance should make it so. Possible to survive? Yes, flick oh, it out. It's a bait though. Shark is gonna be on the way. Numenon Blast is gonna be able to connect onto Haji right now. Zia pops into Chaos Assault already going in, but oh. it's gonna be a mistake. Wise will punish him in that. And that is going to be a huge stack picked up once again for Wise. He is scaling even better than Moba Zane right now. Look at the farm, level seven to six. Yeah, right now, they have to realize Wise with that business stamp putting them on the blacklist, chop on them. It's gonna be very, very scary. And this is why I prefer Aldo's being in the jungle. He skills much faster and he can get those stacks while punching people out. Right now, Moba Zane is slowly losing out in terms of what he is supposed to do. But right now, Ooh. oh, he doesn't want to go engage. Yeah, it's not a good engage right now. They don't have the, the damage just yet. Zia needs to keep oh. on scaling before he goes for that white chicken. And Edward, though, already trading shots in that top side. He's still staying. Is that a mistake? Shark goes in for Sun on to Haji. Opening up the map once more as BTK goes and clears the wave in the mid lane. In the bottom side, there is a fight as well. as Esmeralda versus Brody. Right now, Brody is losing on a trade, but the Tornapot Memory yeah. will just switch it over to the side of Ohe. But Victor still has that regeneration, so he is actually going to win out in that trade. Take a look at the items, though. Fight Chicken with the first mm -hmm. item, Milfic. 
Yeah, I feel like that is a little bit of a desperation move because they feel like they need to get a lot of these kills early on. So Malefic Rory will be finished much, much faster than the Blade of Despair. So I think that is a very good choice. Oh, Zia needs to be careful though. Pops the Brilliance, a huge ultimate already burned away. It's going to be the real world patient. Going to be able to take up the kill. Oh. Also, Zia, Mobile Zane can't respond. He's going to take in low though. Oh, that ultimate popped in. Wise will choose to go onto the Esmeralda. Nope, just getting some mobility on the board as he yep. puts his focus onto the turtle. Chaji able to zone away the members of BTK, but Victor is going to go for an engage right now. Momo still has a triple save. This is a prime time for them to look for something, but no, they are not going to go for it. It is the retribution the by Momo but nothing more. Yep, mind you, Haji still had the wild charge. That's why he was so confident that he will not die. And in case he did, that would have been a clear sign for Blast and Ashel to say go time. Oheb still has the torn apart memory. Yes, Oh My Venus does not have the rule manipulation, but the punish is very real since Edward did commit and he did rotate as well. Excuse me, isn't Blacklist International supposed to be the one scaling up? Why are they taking the lead? Right now, they're almost 1,000 gold up and BTK, they haven't been finding any picks. Hachi has to go away because he's like, yeah, this is not my business. I'm gonna go away. Sure, Blacklist wants to scale it up, but so does BTK. Honestly, they have the Beatrix, Lunox, and the Esmeralda. Sure, uh, the Saber does fall off much harder than the Elders, but the Elders actually scale up pretty well as well. So again, in the late game, Elders will do damage, BTK too. This is that dichotomy that I was talking about, the dynamic between these two lineups, is because Blacklist International just wants to keep slowly, slow rolling, right? But BTK, they have a mid-game spike. So I think that's why Black is also going a little faster now. Because they want to make sure that that spike doesn't happen sooner than later. Well, let's see. Mobo Zayn already on to his purple buff. Blacklist International will look to contest. Opening up the map. Shark's going to get taken. Oh, look at quite low, But in the bottom side, Victor winning in this 1v1 as Oheb is forced to back away. Right now, I'm looking at the map. Oheb is not having a good time because this time, Oh My Venus is not actually babysitting him that much. Um, Haji is just looking for picks as well, trying to open up the map, make sure that BTK does not have it, have any kind of cheesy engages. But right now, Shari with the conceal, not really looking for anyone. The game is slowing down for a bit. Yeah, and honestly, in the mid game, Blacklist will have a little bit of a power spike as well. Obviously, with Edward, Oheb, and Venus on the board, with especially. That Grok. Gonna be key to maintaining this lead, if we can call it that, for Blacks International, is vision. Uh, Wise has to use that uh, contract fate very, very liberally to make sure that they know exactly where Zane is. That death bush play via the triple sweep is such a lethal threat. Even if it's just Shark showing himself, you never know who's hiding in the bush. Mm, absolutely, but now Turtle has spawned. This is going to be the third Turtle of the game. So far, Blacklist have been able to secure two out of the two. Now, third one spawns BTK looking for the trade in the bottom side. Let's see, Oheb, will he reveal himself? Nope. It is going to be Momba Zane forced to back away. The vision controlled right there. Pops it in and Oheb will have a safe time in this bottom side. Will Red just get the turret traded destroyed. for the turtle. I feel like this is quite a good play coming Red in from Blacklist. BTK. They will eventually get the pick, I feel. It's just that Oh My Venus right now, we're not seeing a lot from him as well because even he realizes that Mobile Zane is actually just looking for him because yep. the rest is just going to be very, very dangerous. So as long as uh, Oh My Venus is playing Magician and always disappearing, it should be fine. This game will scale up. Sooner or later, Mobile Zane will come online as well. But... It's going to be very difficult for him to find the right target, oh, but Mobile speaking Zane of that... Finally goes in for the triple team on the Haji wall. Charge will be able to bring him back, and that's going to be the kill traded. One for one. White Chicken going in. Oh. The Wise is going to go in all the way to the backside. Now the stun connects onto the bottom side of the turn. White Chicken is able to connect. Wise gets outplayed! Double kill for White Chicken! That was an odd play by Blacklist International. I, I don't think there was enough stacks on either target there for it to have been a good torn apart memory oh. for Oheb. So it was very short-sighted. Look at this now. They're oh going to punish. Red team BTK with the lead played. again here. Turn after turn after turn as Blacklist International look for the trade onto the mid lane turret. It is going to be Edward picking up the turret, but the top side as well. Both of the teams looking for plays Blue on the board. Shark going in for the stun. Snipe connects on a Haji. Another one will destroyed. miss as Blacklist will be forced to go for the collapse now. Hello. Edward is there. The ultimate is going to be popped by the side of Wise. Haji oh. goes for the wall charge. Able to connect on a Zia right now. They're going to blast though. Going to be able to connect on a two members. Zia still able to kite away, but it's going to be Wise jumping in the backside. Triple sweep, baby. And that's going to be Wise. They're all playing Mobile. Mobile Zane on the bottom side. Mobile Zane gets the kill though. And that is BTK going for the place. Again, Edward will not be able to contest for long. Another good trade to the hands of USA. Three to one. 
Looking at that, this is why I'm saying Mobazir will eventually find the picks that he does want to do, just because of Wise kind of overestimating what he can do. Okay, to be fair, he did get a kill. So yes. it's still a very, very positive trade. Shut down as well. Shut down as well. So it is still a very, very positive trade coming in from the side of Blacklist International. However, we are starting to look at remnants where Mobazine right now is just going to be more of a counter engaged tool, more than, more than an engaged tool. But at what point are these trades from Blacks International going to be good and not detrimental? Because you keep doing this and eventually BTK will punish. BTK will find a window maybe oh, yeah. to take Lord for free or maybe to push in deep. That's essentially what happened in the previous game. Oh, wait a minute. Venus is setting up for a real world manipulation there by zoning away. But Fire Chicken going for the snipes. Oh! Ooh. Connects onto Venus. Half HP gone just like that. And that Ooh. is an amazing setup for the Lord right now. Black International need to go for something. Shark is going to be able to go on to Hanji. No damage placed just yet. Moba Zane not using the triple sweep. Being patient with their abilities. They need to target. Shot selection is the key to this game. Wise on the other side of the map will be able to go and take the turret. But it's going to be the turtle taken away. No, Lord is going to... Oh! Edward Balboa gets it, but it's going to be the trade one for zero right now. Mobile is going to be targeted. Why is going to be able to go to the backside? It's going to be actually taken down, though. That is a mistake, as that is everyone taken down. A double kill. Three for zero. The Lord taken by Blacklist, but at what cost? The same mistake as the last two team fights. They overextended, could have thought that they would kill in one punch, maybe two, but Blacklist International have underestimated the micro decisions BTK can make to extend their life. And so far, it's a free Lord. Yes, they get the buff on their minions, but they lost on the board. Presence is on BTK's side. Wow, look at the way they cleared that Lord as well. Not like nothing. Yeah. Blacklist at this point, with a 1,000 gold lead for BTK, they're going to be able to snowball this to even more. But they got to be careful. Blacklist International have some damage, a lot of damage at that, and they have a very good peel. The, game, the, the wins that BTK has been getting is coming off of an engage by Blacklist. Yeah, we have to look at Ohem because sooner or later he will come online, but from the side of BTK, Fire Chicken has been positioning himself so good. He's been dodging a lot of things and encounter damaging with, you know, the Demir's Passion, with his Snipe. Again, being able to hit the proper targets, Fire Chicken should be the one being targeted, but it's, again, so difficult. Look at Shark, 0, 1, and 7. He's been protecting and engaging very, very well. Every single time he, he does his Numen and Blast, someone from Blacklist dies. At this point, why is honestly like the shot selection has been good, but he hasn't been able to, to execute anyone. Something tells me that there's something else uh, in, in play here. Uh, if they do it right, Blacks International might actually be rubber banding. Blacks International might actually be forcing these fights and getting these small advantages. And then Aji. at one point, oh, could come big. back around. Again, just my thought. Again, rubber banding, it's a concept. Yep. Oh my god! Ah! Snipes connecting onto Venus again. Half HP taken away before a fight even starts. And now it's time to take a look at the items. Ice Queen won on Esmeralda. Yeah, looking at the Esmeralda, this is a very usual um, pickup of items for Victor. He just wants a lot of sustain, but he also wants to set up for his own team because this is the way that they play. They're trying to slow everyone down. They try to make sure that they don't run away, giving chance for Fight Chicken to deal a lot of damage. And the itemization from Fight Chicken is really focusing on Burst, Blade of Despair, Malefic Roar, and just in case bad things goes to bad, he has the Wind of Nature and Dreadnought Armor. So Wise, even though he goes in, looking at the itemization that he has is mostly defense. Yes, I understand that he has a lot of stacks. He can deal a lot of damage, but Fight Chicken, it, he already has the answer for this. Once Shark completes his own anti caress, then yeah, Wise will kind of fall down a little bit. He's not going to be able to one shot Fly Chicken. He might have to do two or three more punches. Mm, all right. To put it at that, BTK right now, 1.8 thousand gold lead. They need to be able to snowball this. Remember in game one, this is the lead that they had, but they weren't able to use it, utilize it for any objectives on the board. And right now, Blacklist are defending, manipulating the waves to do the same thing. It's a different BTK though. This yes. BTK learns so fast. Uh, we know that now for a fact. And who's to say that their win in game three was the uh, beginning, was the genesis of a brand new take on their playstyle. So far, Blacks International, it, it's their turn to show us something new. Let's see. Black International going for their, you know, conventional drafts here with Aldous, with Brody, the Yves as well, as well as that Paquito. It is going to be the battle of the wits at this point. 13 seconds left until the 
Enhanced Lord comes into the game. BTK have the pressure and Blacklist, they might have to force a fight early on here. Right now, looking at this, oh, ho, oh. Ho, Boba Zane is going to get caught over there. Oh my god, Nakasai is going to be able to land onto two members. Boba Zane still has immortality, so he is still safe. Why? Is, are you sure about that? He needs to stop it right there. Yep, both of the teams scrambling, but oh. that is a huge ultimate burn away. Oh, Wise already using that. This might be the chance for BTK to look for something on the map. Right now, Blacklist, if they can bait out Shark's Numinum Blast, that's great. That's perfect. If MOBA Zane as well, since he has the immortality, meaning he doesn't have much of a damage, he's just trying to stop someone. So, oh, 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 oh Heb. Yeah, the snipe connecting on Oheb, but look at the damage coming on Victor. He's gonna be taken down instantly by Oheb. He's gonna turn apart memory now. Real world replace to the backside. Zia forced to flicker away. It's gonna be him taking him with kill. Shark gonna be able to get taken down as well. Double kill picked oh, up. Nice to find Chicken what? running for his dear yeah. life. Oheb goes in for the start. He's gonna be taken down with the nature though. He might just go for the outplay oh, right now. Oh. No, unable to. Three for one. Oheb trip. Triple kill right now as Wise goes in on a Moba Zane, but needs to be careful because Zia is right there. He notices from his mistakes, he's been over committing, instantly backs out. Free Lord cracked open here by Blacklist International. They're happy to take this three for one. They're glad to open up this huge objective, and this time it's for free. No longer is it going to be stolen by Edward. He's dead. It's still good for Blacklist International, and just like that, they've closed the gap. Nay, made it even more favorable for themselves. Now at 1,000. Yeah, and again, this Aula is just going to get stronger and stronger. Oheb finally getting killed, more kills on his own um, KDA right now. Edward doing so much, even though his KDA is 1-3-1. But look at the space that he provided, making sure that White Chicken focused on him and the rest was able to free hit on charge. Okay, let's see. Enhanced Lord defense now coming in for the side of the BTK. The wall has been placed. Haji is amazing at that real world place. He's going to be able to zone away the members right now. Zoom on back, connects on the four members. Look at the following time as well to follow up and why it does so much damage at this point. Turn up our memory as well. Oh. Almost taking Victor down. But Blacklist, they have been unable Bloody to crack that base destroyed. so far. Only taking the outer turrets. Look at how tanky Blacklist is because they were caught in a lot of ultimates, but they just took it. It was fine. In this kind of situation, as long as Fight Chicken is not in the game, it's actually pretty fine for Science Blacklist. They can take any kind of prolonged fight that they want. So I think that they have a very clear win condition right now. As long as Shark is not able to uh, to catch them, as long as uh, Fight Chicken is getting getting pushed out, Blacklist will win this team fight. Wait a minute, Blacklist and National, they're actually setting up for something. Whoa. Haji goes in while Charge is not going to be able to connect right now. Moba Zane still able to dive and back away. Numina Blast connecting on the two members. Wise will stop oh. at that. Going on to Shark instead. This is going to be Fight Chicken on the backside. Still able to cut away. Edward though, he's going to get taken very, very low. But Real World Vision going to be able to, so to zone and keep them at bay as Blacklist will just disengage. A beautiful, beautiful play by both teams there. Love the dance happening between Blacklist and BTK right now. It started with a win from Blacklist as they went in for the engage on White Chicken, but they answer back with a huge ult. Then they try to catch with that Numenon Blast, canceled by Blacklist, but they were able to get away from the removal manipulation. It's, it's more of a, I give you two, I take three, then I take two again, then you go back to zero. It's, it's amazing what these two teams are doing with each other. Looking at, at where he has the Bloodless Ass as well as the Malefic Roar, but the more important thing is the defensive item that he has. He has the uh, Dominus Ice as well as the Athena Shield, able to tank a lot. Mobile Zane actually having a lot of penetration over here. War Axe, Malefic Roar, as well as the Hunt Strike. I feel like he can kill Edward, so Edward has to be careful as well every time he engages. Same thing with Wise. So, yeah, I mean, it's still, it's still the same thing. As long as Fight Chicken is being targeted, they're fine, but they have to be a little bit more careful because a comeback is still possible. There's another fun fact I want to talk about. Last time BTK won against Blacklist, it was the exact same score. Blacklist had match point, and BTK were able to capitalize on that. Wasn't a reverse sweep, though. Let's see if they can do a reverse sweep here. Because Blacklist, right now, they're controlling the map. Victor is, you know, in, in these few fights, he is building tanky, but it's, it's been him bursted down many of these times. Blacklist seemed to have the control over the map here. Yeah, BTK again, their main advantage is bodies. They have boots on the ground, and as long as that's there, they can find out plays. Blacks International, they're playing more of the map. They need to make these smart decisions. They need to be able to open it up and then force BTK to make wrong decisions. Again, they're bo they both have their strengths, and they're both trying to have the other play into it. Mm. Let's see. 
At this point, what does BTK and Blacklist need to do? For Blacklist, obviously, they want a hard skirmish and organized team fight. But for BTK, again, I feel like it's the same. They need to isolate their members using Shark to disrupt that organized play and go for the targets one by one. But the shot selection needs to be perfect. Exactly. This is a game between Sword and Shield because look at BTK. Look at the team fights that they've been winning. They've been kiting. They've been counter-engaging. And Blacklist, they've always been engaging. So this is just... A very straightforward fight. You're gonna attack me, I'm gonna defend. So who has the better damage or who has the better offense, who has the better defense, that's gonna win. Makes it into a situation where it's not that interesting because it's not like two brawlers just going head to head. It's just a... a it's a stare down. It's a stare down. Whoever blinks first, loses. That's literally what happened with Haji and Shark. They saw each other in that bush like, oh hey, you're here. I I'll go over there. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna wait here. Positioning right now, BTK is gonna be able to hit the Lord to, in, to like open up the map a little bit for them to get some vision. Victor in the mid lane, going to clear it out. Wise is in that bottom side. He has the ultimate, so he can play with this. BTK, do they really want to go for this Lord though? It seems like they want to. Blacklist wants to respond as well. He's actually gonna be able to dive almost to the back side. BTK is forced out of that Lord by Wise's ultimate. Whoa. And just like that, Blacklist have regained control. It's gonna be the free Lord for Blacklist. Look at Victor. that beautiful Victor. macro play. But look at that shot. He's gonna be able to get some damage done. Victor jumps in with the point. Sarmut, turn of memory. Gonna be canceled away. Victor taking all the damage right now. Numa Blast goes in the front. Wise is gonna be the target right now. He's gonna be all the damage placed on him. Immortality has been popped. The jungler will be compromised. Winner's Truncheon. Bot, but the all for naught as Fight Chicken picks slain. up the kill, a 2,000 gold lead, but the Lord will be taken down instantly. All the more worth it. I'll take this trade any day. One hero for a Luminous Lord. And the fact is, BTK won't be able to get much on the map either. Right now, I gotta tell you guys, there's a very good reason why BTK, they started Lord first. Remember, what do they want to do? They want to kite. They want Blacklist to engage. So how do they make Blacklist engage? By protesting or, you know, like, con sorry, contesting yes. an objective. So like, okay, we're starting the Lord. You got to stop us. And if you want to stop us, you got to engage. When you engage, this is our prime opportunity to disengage. Unfortunately, they gave the Lord, but still look at that. They managed to get kill on the board. Absolutely, fight chicken, no. Oh, he's actually going to be able to spot Edward in that bush. Not a lot of damage because he's just so tanky. But again, it's a stalemate at this point right now. Both teams just looking for an opening in the enemy ga an enemy's game. Yep, despite the macro advantage Blacklist International has, their global presence with the ult on the Aldus. Look at how blue the map is. That just means BTK is also putting up a good fight when we're talking about the macro game. Oh, they're not just putting up a good fight. They are actually equalizing Blacklist International at this point. It's, it's crazy to say, but BTK, look at them. They're actually going to be Red able to get turret some turrets on the board. Objectives now. You no. can hear the claps from the audience. This is a good game. No, this is very dangerous because both of the teams, the moment anyone wins a team fight, they can destroy turrets very fast. Blacklist yep. International, they have the Brody, they have yeah. the Aldos. They can, they can destroy turrets super, super quickly. But from BTK, they have White Chicken on this Matrix. So both of these teams, again, it is a stare down. They're, they're like, who's gonna crack first? Because it's all about a team fight. When you, when you lose three members, that's it. We're gonna, we're gonna go straight to your base. Peak Mobile Legends for coming from North America and the Philippines right now. Two to one in favor of Blacklist. BTK, they'll need a miracle to go oh. for a full engaged oh, team fight. But look at this, Mobile Zane already look going in. Look at the flag. Look at the flag. He's going to be able to connect on the three members right now. It's going to be Oheb running for the hills. Mobile Zane popping the ultimate onto the side of the wrong Red target, team, I feel. But he's going to be able to get the kill onto Venus played. right now. Victor going to be able to get three people in zone right there. All right? Victor. Oh, Edward gets caught. Oh, my God. He's still able to run away, but it's going to be one. Oh, still going. Victor going in with Voice again onto Oheb. Still able to run away for now, but it's gonna be him taken down. Turn about memory gonna be used. Oheb can't go anywhere. It's gonna be Edward getting taken down, but no, he's still alive. Brilliance of the Order going in. Edward, will he be able to outplay here? Let's see. One, two for one right now for BTK. They're kind of they're gonna try to make it a two for one. It's gonna be oh! What? What, what is going on? Three for two. BTK gets the better trade. I'm so sorry for wow. anyone wearing earphones. Take that off now. Just put on speakers, cause yeah, we're sorry. We're gonna shout a lot in this game. In that moment, Edward did the math in his head. If I can turn this into two v three, at least BTK won't get much on the map. I don't know what the equation looked like in but his the head. But still alive, man. Yep. 
It, it should huge. have been the Beatrix, but Ome Venus will be back, so that's Red still some hope Turbo here for Black to defend. But they've equalized in turrets. It's five to five. They might even get more here. That's going to be the top side taking down. Haji can't really go for an engage right now. It's going to be Moba Zim taking the orange buff as well. Destroyed. Six to five. This is why I say it's so dangerous. A team fight can really convert into a lot of things. Haji oh, no. is getting focused now, but oh. he wants to go engage. He goes oh. into the watch out. Team members right now. It's going to be Zane taking down, but it's going to be the look at Aldous. He's coming in. No more blast to get Haji Here down. But Wise comes in. He picks up one. He picks up two on the board. Two on the board. Memory going to be used. White Chicken's immortality. Has been taken down. It's going to be the winner nature for White Chicken. He tries to run away right now. He's going to go and try to kite Wise, but Shark gets taken down. White Chicken, will he be able to? I don't think so. Oh. He's missing everything. Wise is going in. Happy feet. Wombo combo. Fly chicken picks up three, four, zero. This might be the end, boys. Wise turned him into Chicken Joy there. Chased him down chicken alongside whatever you like. The Filipinos are having their way here because they're sieging the base. Zia and Victor, the only ones left to defend. Let's see Victor going in at the three members right now. Oh, he's still able to run away. Tornify member going to be used. It's going to be Zia taken down right now. Victor in a 1v4. What can he do? Winner's Trunch is going to be used by him, but he's going to be able to flicker in front. He's going to get taken down. Blacklist International. 30 seconds on the death timers. A 2 to 1. A 3 to 1. Philippine Grand and finals, baby! This confirms a back-to-back -back Filipino champion, Blacklist International, moving on through the lower bracket, the longest crawl an upper bracket team could ever make. Please clip wow. the earlier conversation when Leo asked me he's gonna win this game. I said Blacklist, so, you know, I'm gonna take any victory that I can. But right now, speaking of victory, Blacklist, three to one. Not a sweep, but a win's a win by a mile or a kilometer, what Blacklist a... is going grand finals. What a performance by Blacklist and BTK. GG, good game. Round of applause for both of the competitors. Ladies and gentlemen, what a brilliant game played by both BTK and Blacklist. All respect deserved for these teams.